interference in the 2016 election moving too slowly. A source says that the Senate Intelligence Committee is still a long way from interviewing top members of the Trump campaign about their possible ties and communications with Russia. That story next. As the U.S. Senate returns to work today after their Passover and Easter break, there is new pressure on the Senate Intelligence Committee to speed up its investigation into Russian interference in the 2016 election through hacking, stealing, and disinformation. The top Democrat on the committee, Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, says he's very frustrated with the current pace. That's according to a source with knowledge of private conversation. CNN's Manu Raju joins me now live on Capitol Hill. Manu, um, is the process slow? And if so, what's slowing it down? Well, Jake, it took nearly two months for the intelligence community and the Senate panel to agree on which documents to review as part of this investigation. And now there's mounting frustration among key Democrats on the panel to interview those key Trump witnesses and also move forward on this investigation. Just moments ago, Jake, I talked to Oregon Senator Ron Wyden, who said he expressed this frustration to his committee leaders. I've made clear to the bipartisan leadership of the committee that I have serious concerns about the pace of the investigation. I believe you have to speed it up right now. The American people are getting most of their information from leaks and false tweets. And the issues I focused on follow the money, uh, following the trail of the dead bodies. Uh, it's important to use all the tools, particularly public hearings and subpoenas. That's one thing, too, Jake, that some Democrats are concerned about. There has not been an agreement yet to issue subpoenas for some key documents and to schedule those, those hearings from people like Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, Carter Page, people who have been suspected of having those campaign, campaign contacts with Russian officials. But today, Jake, the Republicans are also defending the chairman of the committee, Richard Burr, including Susan Collins of Maine, says that I understand why we want to move quicker, but we also want to do this as thorough as possible, which may mean it could take a little bit longer, Jake. All right, Manu Raju on Capitol Hill for us. Thank you so much. The White House says the government will not shut down on Friday. There will be funding, but Democrats don't want to pay for the president's proposed border wall. Will they all be able to reach a compromise? The top Democrat on the House Budget Committee will join us next.